Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my very first PR haul of 2021 and I've decided that I am going to keep going with the tradition I started last year. So anytime I do a PR haul, not just any haul, but a haul where all of the products featured were sent to me complimentary, I will also do a giveaway for you guys. I think that's a nice way to try to give back because I wouldn't receive most of this stuff if it wasn't for you guys watching my videos. So I am eternally grateful to all of you and there is no possible way I could get through all of these products. The last thing I want to do is stockpile products in a corner or have things going bad before I can even try them. I love testing new products. I do my best to try everything that's sent over and really use the products I decide to keep, but this way I can help spread the wealth to some of you guys who will enjoy these products as well. So stay tuned until the very end of today's video for details on this giveaway. I'm incredibly excited about today's PR haul because there are a lot of products that are new launches new brands that are just new to me, but also some brands here that I am incredibly excited about, like this first brand I'm gonna talk about, St. Jane Beauty. I don't know if you guys have heard of them. They reached out because of Sephora Squad and they just offered to send over one of their top selling products and then a new launch. But prior to that, I had never heard of them. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the brand, but I immediately looked them up and everything is just so beautiful. It's one of those brands that is incredibly visually pleasing. So here I have the new product. This is the Sea Drops, as well as the Luxury Beauty Serum. So this contains 500 milligram CBD, 20% vitamin C. It says active botanicals for bright glowing skin. Apply morning and night to clean dry skin, follow with Luxury Beauty Serum for best results. And then this, Looks like it has a ton of great stuff in it. Sandalwood, frankincense, myrrh, geranium, rosehip, pomegranate, shea, grape, sunflower, all of the heavy hitters, vitamin E. The box smelled so good. I just want to smell this beauty serum. Mmm. Oh yeah. It smells very botanical, very earthy. The next product is a brand new launch from Bobbi Brown. They came out with these new lipsticks and they sent over the cutest little PR box. So these are the new Crushed Shine Jelly Sticks. I don't know if you guys have heard about these. There are three drawers, two lipsticks in each drawer. So they sent over the whole collection, which I thought was really cute. This is actually part of a game, so I have a deck of cards as well. I don't know the rules of the game, but each shade is numbered, and I imagine you just try them all eventually. It says, ace your base, help plump, smooth, and instantly improve lips moisture barrier with hyaluronic acid. Double down, swipe once for a tint, twice for a pop. Fruit oils keep your lips shining vibrantly or you can go all in. Turn on your game face with a custom mix of shades, layer, blend, and play. They look really beautiful. They're all kind of bold. These pink berry colors, perfect timing with Valentine's Day. They all look really pretty. The packaging is very unique. You're not quite sure where the lipstick comes from. The bottom has the shade and the number. And when you press the top, it just pops right out. And then that is your jelly stick right there. Really cool. I love this shade. This is Honey, number two. Let me go ahead and swatch it for you. I feel like Bobbi Brown has something similar to this shade called Honey. Am I wrong? Maybe a lipstick, maybe a gloss, but it's really beautiful. Just looks like an intense nude. I don't know why, I guess because it, it's called jelly. I thought it was going to be really sheer and light. It made me think of those lip balms from Charlotte Tilbury that literally look like jelly. Here we go. This is one coat. I think the color is really pretty, but I think the color payoff is also pretty good. Let's see. <laughs> the rounded nub is throwing me off a little bit. Mmm, <laughs> they feel really nice. Feels really smooth. I love this color. It's perfect. I like the shine, I like the feel. These are available now at Sephora. They are $29 each. Mm, mm, mm. They're very smooth. I love this. I love a creamy, shiny, smooth lipstick with pigment. So this is perfect. Bobbi Brown also sent over this really cute little briefcase. 
It says, made for skin, designed for life. And when you open it, That's pretty cool. It says made for Aaron. <laughs> the personalized package, really nice. Made for Aaron, designed for your best skin yet. Inside some information. We have a full coverage face brush. This is one of my favorites. I like to use this not just for foundation, but for cream blush, cream bronzer is really good. And then three shades of the Skin Long Wear Weightless. Ooh. Oh, Natural 4, I think that is my shade. I've never heard of W048. I wonder if they changed their shades, but the Natural 4 should work. And then the Vitamin Enriched Face Base, of course. The one and only. So, three of their hero products for the best skin of your life. Or, the best skin yet. <laughs> this next box is very exciting because it's a really popular brand, that I have never tried. Somehow, I have yet to try Kosis. I don't think so. I'm trying to think if I've ever tried even a single thing, like maybe something was sent in a larger package, but I, I really don't think I've ever tried anything from Kosis. I've wanted to, I've meant to, and it just hasn't happened yet. <laughs> so many brands, so much makeup, so much to buy, but they were so kind they sent over a huge box. There's a lot of stuff in there. So this is the Serene Clean Chemistry AHA Serum Deodorant. I read Serene Clean and assumed it was a cleanser, then it says Serum Deodorant. So I thought it was three different products. I'm pretty positive this is one of the clean at Sephora brands, so it makes sense. A lot of clean brands have a clean deodorant, and I've been using clean deodorant for several years now, so my underarms are used to it. There's no going back to aluminum deodorants now. They also sent over one of the bronzers. This is the Moisturizing Baked Bronzer. I meant to pick this up last year when it launched. There was so much buzz around it, and I think I was late to the game, and people said, go ahead and skip it. <laughs> We've already seen enough reviews, but this is the Medium Golden Bronze. <gasps> it feels so smooth. Wow. That is a pigmented bronzer. I sunless tanned yesterday and that's still really dark on me. So I think I'm gonna have to be really light handed. There's a ton of color payoff. I'm sure you don't have to apply much pressure with your brush to pick up a lot of product, but the shade looks nice. I like the luminosity, very pretty. I'm so excited. This is another one of the products that I meant to try and then just never got around to it. It's the concealer. So I have 3.5, 4, and 4.5. Hopefully one of those will work. I generally like a light concealer, so let me just open the 3.5. This is the Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer. Ooh, yeah, that should be light enough. I've heard great reviews. People really like it. I know this isn't going to tell me much, but I kind of just want to feel it. Looks very pigmented. And it looks light enough. Looks like paint. <laughs> this looks really promising. I mean that in a good way. And it feels really creamy. I'm always on the hunt for a good concealer. They also sent over three shades of the tinted face oil. I know I've heard about this product, but I don't remember what I've heard. I just kind of know it exists, which doesn't tell me much. I'm gonna open shade four. Just kind of curious. It's very thin. Interesting. I wonder, do you wear this alone? Do you wear it as a primer underneath something else? Is it just meant to be a light tint? I don't know. I'm interested. Now this sounds awesome. The 10 second eyeshadow in the shade Globe. This I haven't heard of at all. It also says you, it also says you have to shake it. Wow, it is really liquidy. Oh, it goes 
goes on pretty creamy. It doesn't really go on too thin. I love this color. It's a beautiful light bronze shade. I like the luminosity to it. It looks really nice. Hopefully it's really easy to apply. I think it could be. Just kind of like a really quick on the lid, almost a one and done situation. Here I have the weightless lip color in the shade Rosewater. They sent over a full face. I'm so grateful. Very pretty, sleek. Oh, I love the shade. Just looks like a nice, light, rosy pink, dusty rose. I know I already applied the Bobbi Brown, but I'm looking pretty lip liner heavy at the moment, so I'm just gonna layer this on top. Nice. I love this pink. I think this is going to be perfect for spring summer. I have even more stuff here to try. This looks like a lip gloss. The Wet Lip Oil Gloss in the shade Jellyfish. <laughs> That's funny. It does look like a jellyfish. If jellyfish was a color, this would be it. Here I have the Volumizing and Lash Care Mascara. I didn't realize they had mascara. Very pretty. The Big Clean. Not going to open this yet. Just because I have so many open mascaras, I really need to wait. But it feels really heavy. Let me know what you think. Do you love this mascara? Because if you guys like it, then I will open it. Then they also sent over the Color and Light Cream, Cream Blush and Highlighter in the shade 8th Muse. The very last thing I have here is the Lip Fuel. This is the Hyaluronic Lip Balm. This is the Kosa Sport little lip balm and this cute little packet. This is perfect. This next box comes from a brand new brand to launch at Sephora and there has been so much buzz, so much hype, so much chatter about this brand. So I was really excited to be part of the launch. This was sent to me for being part of the Sephora squad. It's from JLo Beauty. And we did a little Sephora squad Zoom call with Jennifer Lopez last week, two weeks ago. It was incredible just to listen to her talk about the launch, talk about the products, the brand, why she started, when she started, what an incredible opportunity. So it was really nice to be able to listen to her talk about it in a smaller group setting. It was of course virtual with everybody on the call. I happen to be a huge Jennifer Lopez fan. I think she's beautiful. She has incredible style. She's an amazing dancer, entertainer. Everything she touches turns to gold. I love so many of her movies. But when I was paying attention to this launch and just reading comments, listening to the chatter, what people are saying, it's getting a lot of mixed reviews. At first, when she announced JLo Beauty, you kind of expect that some people are going to be for it, some people will be against it, but I think most people were really excited. And then she launched her little teaser video. And at that point I was hooked. I signed up for the email. I wanted to know what she was launching as soon as it launched. I'm gonna go ahead and put this over here. I think it must have been one of the Trend Mood Instagram posts. I don't remember if it was the Trend Mood page or the JLo Beauty page, but I started to read the comments and a lot of people were very upset about her comment on olive oil in the little teaser video, which I watched that video, I thought it was beautiful, but it made me a little nervous. It was the first thing I did as soon as this box arrived. I pulled the products out and I checked the ingredients list and sure enough, there is olive oil. It's called the JLo Beauty Olive Complex, but then there are a lot of other active ingredients that you'll find in all elevated skincare. So it has hyaluronic acid, peptides, a couple other things, antioxidants. This is the moisturizer that blockbuster in a non-stop wonder cream, and that JLo Glow in a multitasking serum. So this is the serum. It has the same olive complex. It also has Japanese sake, Japanese rice sake ferment, other antioxidants. So just so you know, there are other ingredients besides the olive complex in her products. It's not just olive oil. She didn't just bottle olive oil and try to sell it as JLo Beauty. I also got one of these Limitless Glow Masks. This I am so excited about. As soon as, I think, she must have posted a video on her Instagram page about these, and I got really excited. And then there's also a liquid illuminator. That I need to purchase myself, but I definitely wanna pick up one of those. 
I cannot wait to try this mask. I'll probably wait till it's a special occasion. Something really fancy so I can have the JLo glow before I apply my makeup. I don't know what it is about the Trend Mood page, and maybe you guys have noticed this, maybe not. But I feel like sometimes, depending on the launch, the comments can be incredibly negative. People will just rip the brands, rip, rip the brand apart, not just JLo Beauty, other launches. Almost every time she posts, I just feel like there are, there are so many negative comments, but yeah, I hear from a lot of people who say they're still buying a lot of beauty, they're still really excited about stuff. I don't know if that's just Instagram, maybe that's just the culture, but it feels kind of toxic. Every post, there's just hate, 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 every single post. I think, unfortunately, it's one of those things that it can sway people's mind. If they went, if, they, if somebody clicks on a picture because they think it's really beautiful and then they scroll or they're about to leave a comment saying how beautiful it is and everybody's hating on it, they're probably not gonna leave that comment. You know, maybe they don't wanna put themselves out there. So I think the more negative it gets, it just kind of compounds exponentially. I might not always get incredibly excited about launches, but I certainly don't take to social media to bash the brand. So that made me a little bit sad because JLo is an icon. She is a beauty icon and people are saying it's too late. She should have done this a long time ago. It's a money grab. She's Jennifer Lopez. She's building, she has been building an empire for decades. I don't mind it. I don't hate that she brought this out. There are so many celebrities, so many different influencers starting their own makeup brand. I think there's enough room for everybody. You don't have to buy everything, but we don't have to tear everybody apart, tear them down just because we don't like the idea of one ingredient. I read a lot of comments from people who were very upset that she was saying she hasn't had Botox or fillers. I don't know. I don't know why this turned into be a controversial launch. It seems so innocent. Couple skincare products, mask. You don't have to buy it if you don't want to. And you never know, maybe she's had Botox and fillers in the past, but those treatments are temporary. You can get them and they'll be gone within six to eight months. Who knows? I don't know. I'm not her doctor. I could not tell you. And I'm not a chemist. I can't tell you about the ingredients in these skincare products either but I'm still excited to test them and I'm very curious to hear your thoughts down below. I didn't even wanna bring it up, but I feel like I couldn't talk about these products without at least addressing it since it seems to be at the forefront of this launch, unfortunately. JLo Beauty, who knew it would be so controversial, but we can have open, honest conversation down in the comment section without being incredibly negative or hateful to anybody. So let me know what you think down below. I'm very curious. Are you interested in trying JLo Beauty? Are you interested in one product over another or are you just not that fussed either way? As a rule of thumb, just a general rule of life that I live by personally, it has always served me best to give people the benefit of the doubt, always. No matter what, I always like to give people the benefit of the doubt, I listen to what they have to say, play devil's advocate, you know, take it into consideration. But I do think a healthy dose of skepticism is always good. No matter what, if somebody's trying to sell you something, be skeptical. You don't have to be cynical. You can be skeptical. You can ask questions and I don't have a problem with that. Should we pump this serum? I kind of want to pump this serum just to see what it feels like, what it smells like. The packaging is really beautiful on these products. She did a great job. It's kind of milky. It doesn't really have a scent at all. I thought it would be sweet, floral, and it would knock me back. It does feel really good. Kind of thick. I'm not sure if I would wear this during the day. It might be a little bit too oily for day, but maybe in the evenings. This is interesting, I didn't read this before. So the JLo Beauty Olive Complex, it's an antioxidant rich four part olive blend. So it has squalene, fermented oil, extra virgin oil, and leaf extract. So it is not just olive oil. The JLo Beauty Olive Complex has some olive oil, but it also has leaf extract, squalene, which has really small molecules so it can penetrate deeper into the skin, and then the fermented oil. I will try it. Keep an open mind. If this works and I look like JLo tomorrow, you'll know why, and then all of the haters <laughs> will be running to Sephora. 
Next up, I have a new launch from Laura Mercier that they sent over in this awesome cosmetic bag. Dual compartment, so the bottom has this hard case. You can put something fragile in there. If you're traveling, maybe your jewelry. Oh yeah, because there's even a little mirror. I didn't notice that. So it is kind of perfect for putting necklaces, rings, something that might scratch. Love this makeup bag. As many makeup bags as I own, this one might be my new favorite. So inside the bottom was this Secret Camouflage Brighten and Correct Duo. This is a new product. Me 3C, 3N, and 3W. Let me take a look at 3N. It's a double-sided concealer, so you brighten and correct. This is the correct camouflage, and then this is the brightening. Correct. And brighten. I like it. It's nice that you get two shades in one product. I think this would be really great for sculpting out your brows. If anybody likes to go in with concealer. I like the idea of the double-sided stick because something like that would be great for travel and great for touch-ups. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Laura Mercier always has great stuff for that flawless complexion. And then I also received a delivery from Becca Cosmetics. I have their Scattering, Star Child, and Star Hugger Light Shifter Finishing Veil. Ooh, looks very pretty and iridescent. And they sent over a couple shades of this Light Shifter Doing Tint. This Cream Illuminator. This light shifter dewy tint is a tinted moisturizer that gives a sheer dewy luminous finish. So they have several shades. It has antioxidants, vitamin E, squalene, green tea, and crystallized licorice. All day wear, coverage so sheer the shades are flexible to work on a range of skin tones. Take a look. Here is shade three, Moon Dance. We'll see what this looks like. You'll have to pardon my hand. Sunless tanned yesterday. Okay, so this is shade three. Oh, it does give pretty decent coverage. It's not as sheer as I thought it was going to be. That looks really pretty. I would still probably use this as a primer. I'm not sure I would use this by itself just because I still get oily in my T-zone. If you're dry, you would love this. And then the powder is just a luminous setting powder. It has hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, crystallized licorice. This compact is beautiful. It is a mirror. I knew it was reflective. I didn't know it was a true mirror that you could actually use. That's genius. Oh, there's a mirror on the inside as well. You could just use that. <laughs> I guess if you wanted to, you could use that as a mirror. If you didn't want to open the compact, or you could just use that. Oh yeah, you can see it has luminosity to it. Ew. I'm not really going to be able to swatch that since it's such a sheer powder, but I will use that to set my makeup and I'll see what happens. The model looks very glowy. It sounds like it's going to be very similar to the Luminous Lay Beige or the YSL 3D All-in-One Glow Powder that I love. Wander Beauty sent over their new travel set. Looks very cute. It's called the Airplane Mode Round Trip. It contains a mini driftaway cleanser, a mini mist, mini moisturizer, mini hydrating mask, two baggage claim gold eye masks, a clear travel case, and one hair tie. Very considerate to add the hair tie. I feel like that's Never something you find in a little travel set. I like that the scrunchie looks really soft. I will use that. You know, a set like this might seem kind of silly since we're not doing a lot of traveling at the moment, but it's also kind of a great way to test out a new brand if you've never tried their skincare before but you've always been interested. These are usually pretty good deals. A set is a great deal. Little convenience sizes are always the worst value, but a travel set like this is usually the best value. And I love the eye masks, love the little scrunchie. I'm not familiar with any of these other products, so I'm excited to test them out. And with stuff like this, you could probably use it for a couple weeks and then you would go through it and then you would know, okay, does my skin really like this regimen? Is there one product that I liked, something else that I wouldn't repurchase? It's just a great way to test out new stuff. 
The last piece of PR I have to share was sent over by Sephora, but it's huge, so I'm not even going to attempt to lift this up. It's really heavy. So this is a huge box they sent over for our, our final virtual event of the year. It's so crazy. Time goes so fast. So here it talks about all of the products inside, all of the things that we're gonna be talking about and learning about during the virtual call. This is a cartoon of my face that is supposed to look like me. You can see it says Air Nicole TV. It's actually pretty cool. They had somebody design these little cartoons and this is a GIF in Instagram. So if you search Air Nicole TV, this little <laughs> animation will pop up. It's pretty cool. And then inside is the good stuff. So here we have a Sephora Rose Quartz facial roller little aroma diffuser with some essential oils, a Google Nest Mini. Is this lift? Yes. Underneath are all of these amazing goodies. I pulled out all of the beauty products from the bottom of the box and I'm back here in my chair. I have everything displayed right here. It'll be so much easier for me to show you these items. The box is just too huge, heavy, awkward to hold. This is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream infused with all-powerful guarana extract. I, I've heard so much about this. This is what has got to be one of their top selling products, one of the most popular things. I feel like I see this everywhere. I do like this brand. They have really yummy smelling stuff. Everything smells like vacation. Oh yes. I love the smell. Mmm. This smells like vacation. Wow. Here is the Stay Vulnerable Melting Blush in the shade Nearly Neutral. This is from Rare Beauty. I've seen these. I saw this collection and it looked really interesting. Cream eyeshadows, I think, in this little cream blush. I love this little packaging. This is cute. I didn't realize it was pale pink. Ooh, the shade looks really pretty. I think this is the best packaging I've seen from Rare Beauty. It's really, really pretty. So that will be nice. I will test that out. They also sent the Fenty Glow Gloss Balm Cream. Ooh, creamy lip gloss. That's a great color. I think this will pair really nicely with that Rare Beauty blush. Here are two products from Shani Darden. There's a retinol, ooh, retinol plus lactic acid serum and intensive eye renewal cream with firming peptides. I haven't heard of this brand, but I think we're supposed to learn more about it at our virtual conference. I love retinol, love lactic acid. Give me all of the firming, tightening around the eyes. I am excited about those. The Moroccan oil treatment. This is just on in time because I am very close to finishing this size bottle. I have one of the large bottles with the pump that I got years ago, and I think I have maybe this much left. And it has literally lasted me years. I got it in Nashville. Here are the Dr. Dennis Gross Exfoliating Body Treatment Peels. I love these. I visited, there was a little pop-up for Dr. Dennis Gross at the Aventura Mall last weekend. And I went, I was invited to attend from the Aventura Mall, but they gave me a little sample packet of the exfoliating body treatment. And it's amazing. I used it just the other day and I felt so smooth. I always like to use the face peels. I will kind of bring it down my neck and do my chest but the body peel was a game changer. I don't know if they have different ingredients. It felt different. I know it's not very fun to talk about it, but the unpleasant truth is that if you work out a lot and you're constantly wearing a tight sports bra or tight tops when you work out, chances are that every once in a while, if not a lot, but every once in a while, you probably get a blemish on your back and it is so difficult to treat because you kind of can't really get that area. Sometimes I'll have a little blemish on my back and I don't even know it. it's there. I don't know it exists because, you know, this is easy to see. I know that I like to exfoliate my chest because I've had so many sunburns growing up. So I'm really careful about my chest now. But with the back, I can't see it. I don't know what's going on back there. So I love these body treatments. Of course, it doesn't make it easier to reach. 
but there are these giant pads and they really do work. After one pad, I could feel a difference. And the last thing I have to share is this Nest grapefruit scented candle. I think grapefruit is their number one seller. I remember from back when I worked at Nordstrom, these candles and the reed diffusers were always so popular. I love Nest. I think the apricot tea might be my favorite, but I love the grapefruit as well. Something like this, something a little bit citrusy, I like for the kitchen area. And now let's talk about today's giveaway. One lucky subscriber is going to win the Wander Beauty Airplane Mode Round Trip Set, a Parfum de Marly Delina Hair Mist, and the Grande Cosmetics Grande Lash MD Lash Enhancing Serum. All you have to do is make sure you are subscribed with notifications on, follow me on Instagram at TV. like and comment on this video, include your Instagram handle because that's how I'll contact you. The giveaway will remain open for one week and the winner will be announced on Instagram. All of the details will be listed down below. Good luck to everybody who enters and that completes my very first PR haul of the year. I think it was a good one. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you saw something interesting. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.